don't remember exactly where I got this dress, but it has always been one of my favorites. There's so many interesting, uh, interesting techniques on it, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so heavily embellished, but not so much with lace as with techniques and tucks, folded tucks. I love the color. This is about 100 years old, I guess maybe 1890, 1910, in that era. Look at the little collar that has a piece of mitered lace and then right on top of the collar fabric and then a beautiful little gathered lace that goes around the collar. I think the bodice of this dress is completely fascinating. I'll just flip the little collar up. Do you see that you made the fabric? Let me just show you what's interesting about it. The fabric would have been made this width completely and then the bodice cut out because as you can see, the sleeves are not set in. We have the tucks and then insertion, three tucks insertion, three tucks, and we're gonna go all the way out to the sleeves and it has a wonderful little uh, Swiss beading that we could run ribbon through, which we don't have any ribbon thrown through it today. And then a beautifully gathered lace edging to finish off. Isn't that an interesting way to make a dress with a sleeve? All right, the little midi dress. Let's come on down to the little dress. I have some interesting things I'm going to show you here. This is a, once again, it's a Swiss uh, beading, which means that you can run ribbon, or they call it ribbon slot in Europe. You can run ribbons through there. Now, I want to show you something really fascinating. Women, I guess, have always been concerned about a child's being able to wear a dress, you know, not just for one year, but for several years. Well, there are two techniques on this dress that really are fun to look at. The little skirt is just an eyelet fabric. No, no work on this skirt, just a pretty eyelet. But I want to show you what this mother did. So one little girl, and probably many little girls, could wear it more than one year. You see she left some growing fabric in here this nice, oh, about an inch and a half piece. So when the little girl got a little bit taller, she couldn't let the hem out on a piece of eyelet, but she could certainly come in and release the waistband and make the dress at least an inch longer. So that gave her a little more room. Okay, that's your first, uh, making sure the child wore it. Now let me show you something else. Let me turn this dress over to the back. And you can see the back is just as beautiful as the front. To me, that is what is so amazing. And I know that many of you are making your dresses where the backs are just as beautiful as the front. That is what's so much fun about heirloom sewing. We can just put all the details we want to. Really starting in the 1800s, a little baby dresses had a, a kind of a casing in the neckline. You see these little strings right here? The strings, even on this big girl dress, this is about a size four, the strings meant that if she wore this dress as a younger child, they could pull the strings, this doesn't pull very well, yes it did, and tighten it up a little bit and make the neckline smaller. Then as she grew, not only could she let the skirt out a little bit, but she could let the neckline out too. I'm always fascinated by the buttons that were used and the buttonholes. These are the most intricately beautiful little buttons and the fact that they're still on this dress is always amazing to me. Not many of my dresses have all of the buttons the way this one does. But you see the back is just as beautiful as the front and those exquisite little pearl buttons. Now I have a real trick to share with you. Oh my, we've made things so much easier. Let me hang a little dress up here. We've made things so much easier with our modern notions. Well, you say, well, Martha, that doesn't look like that antique dress, those tucks. Yes, it does. The tricks we're going to do today, we're going to use this fabric folding pin, which I cannot tell you how many of these we sell. Everybody that sees it wants it, and there's a reason they want it. And this wonderful, uh, this wonderful ruler that really is kind of long enough, because if you have a skirt with tucks, you don't want to make a 12 inch tuck and then come along and come along. You want to draw it as long as you can. So these are two fabulous tools, but let me show you. This little tool is magic, the fabric folding pen. Okay, here's what happens. Your tucks became really, really easy. Now normally when you did a tuck, you have to mark, mark the lines and then carefully fold it, finger press it and then go over and, and go over to the ironing board and press before you stitched it. Well, oh, let me show you some magic. When you fold it now, when you get mark the tucks, you simply go in here and mark your tucks along there. But look what this pin does. Oh my goodness. Pull the, pull the lid off, pull the cap off. This truly is magic, okay? I've got my ruler along here and you can go the whole length and I'm going to come along. I'm going to draw, get a little bit of this magic ink on here. It really is an ink. And I'm gonna take the ruler off and I want you to see what happens it automatically just jumps into a pleat. Now that is the truth. Let me just show you. Normally, you know, you have to come in here and fold and finger press and come along. But after I run this magic folding pin and I pull it up and it literally 
just jumps into a nice knife point. That is such a nice trick. Now, after I have this magic fold, which just jumped up into the knife pleat, I love that fabric folding pen. I'm gonna come over to my wonderful baby lock and I'm going to use the edge of the presser foot as my guide. I'm gonna lower the presser foot and my needle is in far right position. And guess what? I have a perfect one quarter inch tuck. I'm going to sew it. That made it just like magic. I'm just guiding along the edge of the presser foot. I'm going to make my tuck. Oh, I just thought that fabric folding pin is just so wonderful. And, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. You see the folded tucks are right here and you have a perfect little dress. It really is easy with that fabric folding pin and it really is easy with that long uh, ruler. So you can mark a lot of your skirt if you're going to do folded tucks on the skirt. So you know tucks are one of my favorite treatments, and now I'm gonna show you another kind of tuck. This is a release tuck, and with some feather stitching on it. Mm -hmm.